Hi, this is Mike Elliott, and you're watching the Cannabis Financial Network's executive interview series. In this segment, we'll be talking to Mr. Chris Walker. He's the general manager of operations for Heliospectra's North American operations. Heliospectra is an eight-year-old Swedish plant sciences research company dedicated to understanding what light plants want. The company studies the light spectrum and required intensity of plants with the goal of developing controllable lighting solutions for commercial indoor and greenhouse growers. Their customers have the opportunity to save enormous amounts of money by reducing electricity demand through replacement of traditional lighting with the company's Luminaire product. Thanks to Heliospectra's superior engineering and software, their customers can design their own light recipes regardless of scale of operation. By delivering a natural light spectrum and variable intensity, growers can match the genetic instructions found in the plant. Heliospectra sells species environment specific lamps, providing the market with the first commercially applicable LED solution. They trade on the NASDAQ OMX in Sweden under the symbol H-E-L-I-O and on the US OTCQB under the symbol H-L-S-P-Y. Good morning, Chris. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Mike. I really appreciate you having us. To start off, can you provide a brief high-level overview of the company? Sure. Heliospector is an eight-year-old Swedish company, as you, as you mentioned. Uh, we've been in the plant research world now for uh, quite a while. And, uh, we are located globally, uh, but primarily in uh, Gothenburg, Sweden. Um, we've been studying plants at the, uh, at the plant level, and we can detect stress levels. Uh, that equates to building the right uh, control systems for greenhouse and indoor growing operations. And what sets your lighting solutions apart from the competition? Well, as you mentioned, this is a commercial solution. Um, most of our competition is high pressure sodium uh, or some kind of high intensity diode lamp. Um, those lamps have been engineered for commercial operations. Uh, other lamps, other LED lamps and other technology may be appropriate for boutique or small unit operation, uh, but our lamp, uh, both the greenhouse and the indoor version, we have two, uh, are commercially built and engineered specifically for hundreds or thousands of units in an operation. So Mike, as you mentioned, this is a commercial solution. We've got both a greenhouse and an indoor version. Uh, the primary difference between those two versions and the reason that the lamp is so uh, appropriate for cannabis uh, really boils down to the optics. This is a part of the this is a part of the lamp that that's been highly engineered, and uh, most, if not all, of our competition uh, has not been able to really nail the optics. Um, what that equates to is is intensity of, of light, and as uh, most of the viewers will know intensity of light is really the key to growing cannabis in a commercial operation. Um, being able to deliver a completely uniform footprint into and deep into the canopy is the solution. And to date, uh, there are no technologies that have been able to do that aside from high, high pressure sodium or some kind of high intensity diode lamp. Uh, we figure that out. Uh, so th that's really the primary uh, advantage, and so uh, adding to that, you've got uh, software that actually controls each individual light spectrum. Um, this is a, an amazing leap forward with LED in that someone can develop their own light recipes. We've got growers that are actually developing recipes that, are, that, that push far red at the end of the flowering photo period. This equates to cutting several days off of uh, that, that growth period, um, which could equate to uh, a, an entire extra crop a year. So, you know, you're, you're starting to get into some serious ROI there when you look at this lamp versus other uh, high pressure sodium or HID solutions. Um, we do include LED, of course, into in our, in our competition, but to date, there really, uh, there are very few technologies that are cannabis specific. So as you can see, the lamp behind me uh, has been specifically designed for commercial application. One of the features of that lamp is, as you'll notice, the uh, ductwork on either end um, allows the grower to now push heat around the, the grow and actually manipulate the heat in the, in the, in the uh, environment. Um, the, the fan in the lamp is robust to the extent that you could actually pull or push air through it. Uh, this is unprecedented control for an LED lamp. 
Tell us uh, a bit more about some of the other economic advantages for growers, uh, you know, as far as cost savings and yield improvements. I think we've covered a lot, but uh, anything else you want to add to that? So, yes, Mike, as you mentioned, uh, ROI really is the name of the game here. Uh, We will ultimately sell lamps to growers that see that they can significantly reduce their expenses. Uh, Electricity savings is, is just the tip of the iceberg, but that's pretty massive. And I think that's the big value that we bring to the grower. Uh, when somebody can save 30 to 50 percent on their electricity bill, they are, are really uh, getting an edge on their competition. Um, this has repercussions throughout the entire grow, namely uh, HVAC. When we can reduce the heat in the grow to the extent that someone isn't actually pumping cold air into the grow to compensate for the lamp itself, uh, that changes the game completely. Uh, and of course, from there, you have water nutrients, various other secondary inputs in the grow that are affected by all by this change of the equation. Uh, the lamp really does open up the opportunity to change the way growers approach the plant. And how do these economics play into the overall cannabis industry, uh, i.e. high energy usage and need for complete control? Well, the overall cannabis industry utilizes an enormous amount of electricity. Uh, one need only to look into some of the research that's been, that's been done recently that, that proves that the cannabis industry is actually sucking down about 1% of the entire electricity grid in the United States. That's about 3% as well in California. Uh, so from an overall industry standpoint, we don't see that there's much of an option but to reduce that carbon footprint. In fact, we've already seen utility companies force growers to either build half of what their license allows them to or look for energy savings. We've got several customers that have uh, engaged with us on that front simply because we can we can cut their electricity bill in half. Um, in terms of the overall industry, uh, beyond the energy efficiency, um, the lamp actually allows the grower to open up the genetics. Uh, the, the, the plant has a genetic instruction code built into it and when you use a lamp that's static like HID, you are not really allowing the plant to express itself uh, fully. The light spectrum itself does allow the grower to now control things like far red uh, push, uh, the far red light push, uh, uh, shortening the flower, flowering period. Uh, Heliospector has actually been able to do things like control for inter- internodal spacing. Um, you know, and of course, now you're talking about being able to control both mold and contamination and these types of things in the grow to a much greater extent. And Chris, why has LED failed for commercial growers in the past? And what is needed to switch from traditional lighting to your product? Let me answer the second part of the, of the question first. Uh, grower mentality really is the answer. Uh, we, although the industry is currently growing, an amazing product today, uh, that, is, uh, th- that product is being grown in what I call the box. It's a fairly static growing environment. It doesn't necessarily mimic n- mother nature, and we have the uh, ability to do that with this lamp and other technologies. So overcoming that, that grower mentality really is the, uh, the key to success for not only Heliospectra, but other um, controlled environmental agriculture companies that are introducing technologies that uh, allow that new flexibility in the grow. In my opinion, other companies have failed around replacing HID in that they haven't approached this from a commercial standpoint. Um, There are some really nice lamps on the market aside from from what we're offering, but in terms of actually being able to deliver high yield, high quality product and control in in a massive grow environment. one must engineer for thousands of lamps in one space, hundreds of lamps in one space. Um, That type of engineering uh, manifests itself in places like uh, the robust software that we've created, the heat dissipation solution, uh, the optics, uh, and essentially the ability to control for the grow with the hundreds of lamps in that environment. And Chris, that's all the questions we had for today. Is there anything else you want to tell investors before we close? Helios Spectra is poised to capture significant market share in the coming few quarters. We have a robust pipeline full of 
hundreds of lamps to be installed, uh, and we plan to capture that momentum, install uh, and, and increase our installation base by thousands of lamps uh, during 2015. We hope to have you on, on the show again soon to get some updates later this year and uh, and see how things are progressing. So uh, once again, thanks thanks so much for your time. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Mike. Take care. You too. We have been talking to Mr. Chris Walker. He's the general manager of operations for Helios Spectra's North American operations. Helios Spectra is an eight-year-old Swedish plant sciences research company dedicated to understanding what light plants want. The company studies the light spectrum and required intensity of plants with the goal of developing controllable lighting solutions for commercial indoor and greenhouse growers. They trade on the NASDAQ OMX in Sweden under the symbol H-E-L-I-O and on the US OTCQB under the symbol H-L-S-P-Y. And you can find out more about them by visiting the company's website at www.heliospectra.com. Thank you for watching the Cannabis Financial Network.